I've been using lots of um, oils and I've been making up my own creams and I believe this is helping with my scarring. So I want to show you some of my um, lotions, my potions, my butter creams and carrot oils, rosemary oil. I've been making all of it. Um, I thought I'd make the most of my time while I had it. Like we're all complaining all the time, we don't have enough time. So I thought, right, okay, I'm going to make time. And I'm going to make loads of oils and I'm going to look after my skin. I feel so nourished. This is the first time I've worn makeup in days. I've been like using my cream it's just so beautiful it's just i mean look i'm 52 <laughs> with as far as creams and stuff go i really believe that bio oil has helped i did have a really disgusting situation happen and i uh had been to the doctors to for them to have a look at it because it needed uh the stitches cut in there was a stitch that was left in even though they're supposed to be dissolvable so i had this um other stitch removed and then i came back i went sorry i come back and a day or so later i decided to pick this little bit here right and this is what happened yeah a stitch came out and as i decided to like grab this stitch i picked it and as i pulled it i felt it unwind i wrapped like on it and i was like oh my god that i had to end up getting a pair of scissors and cutting it but there is a lump there so i've got this lump here and that's where there's still a stitch in there, but I'm just going to leave it now, I think. I don't really know what else to do. That You really need some cream for your scarring. And if you wish for me to make you a potion, I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. Um, drop me a message in the comments and I'll get back to you. Or maybe I'll do a video on that. And maybe you want to make it yourself. But if you want to purchase anything... Um, hopefully we can do that too. So, uh, my friends have been uh, trying it out and they're loving it. I'm using, like, I've been using my own body scrub, which is delicious, right? Let me get you a cream so I can show you, right? As you can see, I've used loads. And I've got psoriasis on my hands and it's really been helpful, but I am going to make a cream for that as well. You see, it's hard to see with that. I've got a big light on, like so you can see me properly. Oh, it smells delicious. I've got orange in it and orange is really good for like skin. It's really good for acne as well. So, um, yeah, I shall find that as well for you and do one of those as well. Um, apart from that, everything's all right. I'm doing all right. I really am. I'm quite um, glad I can move my neck a little bit more now. Um, I do still get real bad spasms in my leg which legs which i'm really worried about even though i do know that i do need more surgery eventually <clears throat> i don't want to rush it i don't want to rush that even though i do because i don't want to be part of having to have a vaccine i've already had that horrible text uh, mrs jones you need to come for your vaccine no no, thank you very much. It's not for me. Myelopathy, severe progressive cervical myelopathy. So basic and spondylosis. Spondylosis. Spondylosis, I think it is. Never really quite get that one right. 
Um, basically, it's arthritis in the spine. It's quite severe. And you get these little nodules that they have to break off. So it can cause you a lot of grief. And my first signs were having um, dead fingers, numb fingers. That was my best, my first first sign. I had to keep shaking my hand and they thought it was carpal tunnel. And so did I. I didn't think it was a neck injury or uh, not even a neck injury. It wasn't a neck injury. It was um, a nerve compression. And the only way they found out was by doing a, a, um, a big test. It's in my other videos. Anyway, I'm, de I'm detailing it again. I'm so worried for all those that I know and even family that are having the vaccination. Why? I do not know. Why? I do not understand. I really wish people would just wait and see. And if it's about having a holiday, it's an excuse. I think Spain and there's a few other places, Switzerland and that, I think have lifted theirs. You can travel there without having a vaccination. This has been blown up so badly by the media and it's time that everybody actually opened their eyes and actually saw it. I don't understand why people would just carry on and have a vaccination that they don't even know really what's in it, but they just feel that they should have it done because they're scared. I understand that we are... Well, we live in fear. Most of us will all live in fear. Fear is part of our life. You have fear just crossing the road sometimes, you know. But to be watching all this stuff on the media and to be governed into wearing masks constantly and not being who you came here to be and not being able to talk to people. People aren't being nice to each other anymore. They don't talk to each other. And people don't want to speak to anybody that isn't wearing a mask. I mean, I'm having to carry around a badge just so that people don't have a go at me. Do you know what I mean? And, and it's wrong. It's actually wrong. You should never actually ever question anybody if they're not wearing a mask. It's a very hefty fine. <laughs> I think if we could all come together on this... And, you know, like, start just, like, listening instead of just switching somebody off. And, <laughs> you know, when people think what they think. But I like to think for myself. Not really the, the good thing to do is just to go along and be one of the sheep, as they say. Anyway... Um, it's a little iffy, a little bit of it, a little bit of this and a little bit of that in this video, but um, yeah, I can't wait to show you my creams and my potions and um, yeah, so please, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so you don't miss out on any stuff that's coming up new. I've got a few things already made, I've just got to literally get them sent out, but yeah, I'm here today and I thought I'd just, just come and say hello to you and show you how well my neck is healing and um, how good I'm feeling and how my creams and potions are working. All right, thanks for listening. Love, light and peace to you.